they were looking at making a uh, receptacle or actually just a little adapter so you can go from this type of plug to this type of plug so we can plug our welder end into a dryer unit at a house we're going to be working at uh, this runs off to the 208 to 250 it'll take anything is a Lincoln MP210 and lots of people have dryer outlets that look something like that and obviously those aren't quite the same you want something like this <clears throat> so this is a uh, 650R so it's a, that's the, what the type is it's for 50 amps 250 volts and that's what this plug basically means it says right on there same thing so this is a little different this is a NEMA 1030P or NEMA 1050P this I believe will do uh, yeah it'll do 30 50 amps 125 to 250 so I believe you use these to sort of designate that there are probably a different amp load um, and just so that commercial dryers are already set up for that uh, and residential dryers I guess so all we're gonna do today, we have some, we have two feet of wire that I picked from Home Depot. This is power cord. It's strand in there. It's not solid because this is gonna be moving around a lot. So we're just gonna cut this back and then we'll put those ends on it. And it should work just fine tomorrow on the job. I'm gonna set the camera up and I'll just work through it. Uh, this video is, I guess, mostly for like basic electrical theory. I'm not gonna recommend that you do this because I'm not an electrician. I don't work for OSHA, and I don't know electrical code in your area. If you're not familiar with this kind of stuff, you could potentially start a fire, or shock yourself, or damage your machine, which I think is everyone's greatest fear, that they damage their machine. So, if you're not comfortable with this, don't do it. If you are comfortable with this, I mean, maybe still don't do it, but if you wanna keep watching for educational reasons, or just because, this is how to go to a NEMA 650 receptacle. That you can plug your welder into from a wall washer or dryer type of power at 250 volts or NEMA 1030p. Open this up first. This is the receiver. I should plug this into it. Nothing too fancy. So this is a, uh, a surface mount power outlet. It's probably not proper to use it for something like this. I wish it probably doesn't prove. We're not gonna need all of this hardware, but there you go. So it's got a knockout piece. I have a bunch of tools out here. Let's see. I probably need a flathead to just pry that out, but we'll get to that in a second. So there's three poles, you have ground, because it's alternating current, we can use either of these. It alternates back and forth, doesn't actually matter. We only have three strands to choose from, so we have ground is green, white, and black. These are both alternating hot, so it doesn't really matter. That's about how much we're gonna need, so we'll mark it there. Probably up. Now, I don't have a better means, like I don't have any big strippers that are really designed for this kind of capacity, so we're just going to use a box cutter. Alright, didn't cut through the main strands, looks fine. Now, biggest cutters that I have, or strippers, are these Milwaukee ones, and they only go up to 10. This is a 6, so I'm still going to use the blade on this, and we'll just clean it up a little bit. The ground can be We'll probably cut a little shorter in the end, but we'll expose maybe a half inch. This isn't super kosher to do OSHA wise. There's a reason why they have these different outlets and stuff, but if you're a little hobby welder, and you practice relative safety, it'll probably be okay. All right. I'm gonna grab a flathead so I can knock that free. Just like 
that. Has that notch in, obviously. You just put it in there, twist it. It breaks those two little tabs. Good to go. You see all that? Everything I'm doing? Hopefully. All right, so green to ground. We'll do black, white. Just like that. Use the tab in, go there. You can see that. So I took the screw out so you could see it easier. But this locks into the little tab on the side there. And then this threads in, it pushes down on the copper. Pretty good. Should have plenty of contact. Yeah. Go back up in there, that'd be sweet. All of this was uh, the ends, the outlets are relatively inexpensive, they're only like 20 bucks a piece. Um, that wasn't a huge price, and I only bought two feet of these uh, of the cable because it's only an adapter. I have extension cords. What a butt! That's no good. I really like it. You went to that spot. Could have cut the ground a little bit shorter, looks like, but it's gonna be okay. I would like that too. Okay. So I found this on the cameras. Probably surprisingly difficult to me. Okay. All right, that looks like it's in there pretty well. Maybe not. Maybe I'll have to clean it up in a second. Either way, the premise is pretty simple. I'm sure everyone watching can understand. Just like that. A little bit of wiggle room. So it looks like we have one fashion we need to put it together, and then we can put these on there if we want to. I guess we will. Put those on there. This one with the big coarse threads is probably our main one from there.
Oh dear lord. Now that it's not actually doing any favors. That thread started. The other side started. This is not technically necessary, but it's nice to have it on there so that there's less load being put on that. Those contact points. So that makes it a little bit firmer. That'll be fine. I'm gonna leave this open so I can shoot a different part of this um, just about the general theory, but you get the idea. This will go on here and then we'll get that inside of it. We can just do it right now, whatever. I can take it back off, it only takes five seconds. Just like that. My dad likes to use the metal ones, so these plastic ones, but it was actually like three dollars more, so that's why I didn't do it. All right, same thing. We'll open the other one up real quick. We didn't use these screws because they're for mounting this box to the wall. We're not mounting the box to the wall. These are a little different. The one that I want is using the 90 degree, not the straight pole. So it's like, pop it open. I want the 90, straight pole, straight pole. This their own, I'm not gonna use. I guess it just comes a little info thing. If you wanna read it, angle plug with cord clamp, three pole, three wire. Uh, it says for a travel trailer. Um, that's not what I use it for. So, again, I'm going to Okay, same situation. We might need a little more room on these ones because of how they contact with these. It's a little more finicky, but the premise is the same. I don't know what this thing does. I'm gonna grab some water real quick. All right, same general premise. Green, it's gonna be our ground. White's hot. And black's hot. These work by just clamping right there in the middle. Pretty simple.
Yeah, it looks like we should probably free up a little more space. Now, on this one over here, we have white, black, green. This one will go white, black, green. Doesn't really matter. Sorry. Open this up as far as you can before he starts coming free. So that's all three. I think I put this one. That has to be right. It's a pinch of the, yeah. I was thinking that I had the key on the wrong side, but I'm not sure one how much it matters, and two, it should be just fine, regardless. I don't actually know what this thing's for. Clip in somewhere. Right there. I guess we're using a smaller cable, but we're not using a small cable and it fills that up pretty much on its own. So, loops into there, pinches down. Now you just put it together. Just like that. All right, for this project, really all we needed was something to strip the wire with. In this case, I used this for the outside, this for the smaller inside. I used this for actually adjusting the clamps on the like interior mounting surfaces. And I used this because the flathead was a little too wide. So Phillips flathead box cutter, wire strippers.